Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today we're talking about the four main properties of production functions. So let's go ahead and get into it. Timestamps are below if you would like to jump around. The example we're going to use is going to be making grape juice in quotes for no particular reason, where our input or our function is going to be with respect to grapes or G, and we're gonna get this bottle, which we're gonna call W. Production function is going to be specifically W equals the square root of grapes. The first property of production functions that we're gonna talk about is irreversibility, which just means that you can't switch the number of inputs and outputs and expect it to go the same way. This is equivalent to saying if you put something in a machine and it comes out the other side differently, you can't put that output right back into the machine and have the inputs come out and be exactly where you started before. For example, I can put in four grapes into our machine and get two bottles of W out of it, but I can't put two bottles of W back into the machine and expect to get four grapes on the other side. That is what it means to be irreversible. The second property of a production function is no free lunch. That just means you can't expect bottles of W to come out of your machine for free, but you can't put zero grapes into our production function and expect to get anything out of it. If you put zero grapes in, you're going to get zero W out. That's what it means for no free lunch. I also call this no magic. You can't make things out of thin air. Free disposal is the third property of production function. That just means that your trash can is available to you. So if you wanted, you could put some number of grapes into the machine. You might get some W out, but you throw that W right into the trash. And so you make zero output. And that's what free disposal means. You can throw things straight into the garbage. You can also throw your grapes directly into the garbage and not make anything at all. The fourth and last property of a production function is returns to scale, which I talk about extensively in another video. But your production function can be increasing, decreasing, or constant returns to scale. This function happens to be decreasing returns to scale. But in summary, we've got these four properties. Irreversibility, we're asking about inputs being interchanged with outputs. No free lunch, no magic, can't make anything out of thin air. Free disposal, we can put things right into that trash can and returns to scale. So hopefully this gives you a better overview of the four main properties of production functions. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.